Great, like I don't have enough problems. I think we're done, for now. I need to ask you something. Did you need help with something? I have some more questions. Let's take a look. I wouldn't mind hearing songs. Sure, it's your choice. Black and shiny and their hard red feet could feel. A bolt of fur went through him as he thundered through the sky. For he saw the riders coming on. And he heard their mournful cries. Yippee-yi-yo. Yippee-yi-yo. Ghost riders in the sky. Faces gone, their eyes were blurred, their shirts all soaked with sweat. He's riding hard to catch that herd, but he ain't caught them yet. Cause they've got to ride forever on their range up in the sky. On horses snorting fire, as they ride on hear their cries. As the riders loped by him, he heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell or riding on our range, then cowboy change your ways today or with us you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's herd across these endless skies. Yippee! Um, hey, got a sec? Excuse me. What's the news? I'd like to trade some items. Take a look. I'm good for now. Thanks. Glad to be of help.
Hey. Hey, boss. You got a minute? I need to have a word with you. Of course. What's on your mind? Thanks, boss. I just wanted to get some stuff off my chest. Before I came to Fourville, I'd had a lot of jobs. I'd been on the road almost 20 years. I've worked caravan circuits, been a personal bodyguard, kept the peace in good neighbor bars. I was even a sheriff once. And do you know what all my employers had in common? They were all completely hopeless. Couldn't defend themselves for shit. That's why they needed me. You? You're different. We've been wandering the Commonwealth, doing jobs and killing raiders. And you could have done it all without me. I guess what I'm wondering is, why did you hire me? You paid good money for me, and you don't even need me. I'm flattered that you have so much faith in me. Now, I'm not sure I'd call it faith. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. It's not that I'm unhappy here. You're actually the best boss I've had. I don't have to babysit you all the time. I just want to know what made you hire me in the first place. Does it really matter why? I suppose it doesn't. I just find this whole thing a bit odd. I suppose they're your caps. You can spend them however you want. If you want to spend them on me, then I'm not going to argue. Shall we get back to the road? I'm looking forward to see where our journey takes us next. How are you doing? Mark my words, Dr. Kane will find a way to stop the mutants. How are things going? We'll restore law and order, whether the people want it. Hey there. Hey there. I wish you Commonwealth folk would just leave us alone. So what do you do here? I refuse to leave my room until the Overseers agree to close the vault and never open it again. I'll leave you alone. Good. Seems you're finally listening to me. Your thoughts?
Executing the crew of the Harper was the right thing to do. Could have gone feral. How's it going? Brotherhood took Washington from us. We'll take their elbow from them. It might be a little cramped, but it's the safest place in the world. Hey there. General Ward knows what we lost firsthand. He's our best chance at victory. Good. Everyone's here. We want to know who the prisoner is and who they work for. And what their orders were. After that, terminate them. Let us begin. At once, sir. Comfortable? Good. Let's start easy. Tell us who you are. Uh, go to hell. <sighs> I assure you, you'll want to cooperate. And, and I assure you, you'll want to go fuck yourself. <sighs> Why were you at the army depot? Uh, I won't talk. Peace. I... I won't! <sighs> Why don't you try and get the prisoner to talk, Lieutenant? <laughs> you, you, I'm you listening. I'm, I'm scared of you? <laughs> Excellent. Your thoughts? <laughs> Is that all you've got? <laughs> enough. Perhaps we should use the serum. Of course. Once the serum has been administered, the prisoner will speak. But we'll only have a few minutes before they suffer cardiac arrest. Wait! Wait! wait. Stop! Stop! No! Ah! 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 Now! You're going to tell us everything you know, and fast. You haven't got long. Who are you? I'm Major Burroughs, Hawk Squad of the Fury Company. That wasn't so bad, was it? 
Now, Major Barrows, what is Fury Company? Mm. Oh. We were created to... to loot supplies. Take over all those pre-war bases. Mm. Any words of wisdom? Created? Explain. Institute. We're, we're since. They... Uh, uh, they, they send us when they want to be discreet. Uh, people think we're just, just mercs. What about Vanessa? Where does she fit into all this? Uh, uh, Institute had uh, DNA samples. Uh, they made her so, uh, so. Uh, Speak, damn it! Get through! Biometrics! They're dead. So this was the Institute's doing. That was enlightening. It looks like we're dealing with some sort of covert institute operation. And I suppose they created Vanessa in the hopes they could get through any military biometrics locks. That's sick and twisted. Who is this guy? Ah, yes, Senator Matthews. We spoke to him using the long-range transmitter a short while back. He is making his way here. Why would the Institute be involved? It's hard to say. What do you know about the Institute? They kidnapped my baby. You have my sympathies. Kidnappings are a staple of the Institute. Maybe this relates to what they've done with Vanessa. It is high time we learn more about them. We can't afford to have a large unknown like them interfering with us. I'll talk to the Senator about it. Before we proceed any further, due to your exemplary service thus far, I am promoting you to Captain. I want you to head to the Armory and talk to our new Quartermaster. She will issue you some of our newly manufactured equipment. We'll talk more later. Dismiss, Captain. I've got you too. Clean up this mess and bring the body to Dr. Kane. I'm sure she'll find it useful. Yes, sir. Hi. Captain. Hey. I need to talk to you about something important. It's about the dam. We're really not using it to its full potential. We've proven it's possible to create electricity and pure water using old world technology, but at the moment, we're not doing anything with it. If we really want to make a difference to the Commonwealth, we need to start figuring out how to distribute what we've made. What did you have in mind? Here's what I'm thinking. Getting the electricity set up might actually be easier than you'd think. All of Boston would have been connected to an underground grid. All we need to do is figure out how to hook ourselves into it. There's a power station over in Attic, and I'm betting they'd have a map of the grid there. It seems as good a place as any to get started. Um, hey, got a sec?
Do you need something? I don't need anything. Then let's get back on the road. How's it going? Do you need something? Wait there. I'll wait for you here. <clears throat> What's the news? Just looking to trade a little. What do you need? I'm good for now. Thanks. Glad to be of help. Sure. Here's what I've got. I'm listening. Hey. We're the only ones that can save our country. 